Okay, hello everybody. Just to uh, continuing on with this uh, small repair job for this analog power supply. Now, um, in this case, uh, the five volt regulator was blown, and I've just finished changing that over. Uh, now, all I have to do now is I've got to reattach this printed circuit board here back to these um, the terminals on these banana plug sockets which are mounted on the lid of the box. So it's a pretty straightforward task. Uh, just got to align up those terminals with the slots cut out on the printed circuit board and make sure not to uh, bend the LED when I'm doing that. The LED's got to fit through the hole on the, on the, uh, that's drilled out on the lid. And uh, just gently pushing that printed circuit board down so that the uh, terminal uh, terminals stick through on that printed circuit board. As you can see, I've pretty much successfully done there. Now, the next thing to do is get the old flux solder and soldering iron and uh, solder those terminals back to the uh, pads, the associated pads. So just putting on the flux on all those connectors. Now for this uh, one I use a slightly thicker solder, not the thickest one I had, but a slightly thicker one. And you can see they're doing the usual soldering joint. <clears throat> now uh, this connection is a uh, is important uh, not only in terms of electrical but also mechanical uh, because the flip side uh, which is the uh, banana socket gets a lot of uh, kind of mechanical stress as people plug in leads and unplug leads so it's important for this connection to be pretty good so I'll turn it around there it's always important to set up your work area so that you can do your job smoothly uh, efficiently with as uh, with minimum mistakes. You can see there I'm being a little ambidextrous there by swapping the soldering iron to the left hand. Uh, sometimes you need to be able to do that just to get it on the uh, angles. The angles uh, or accessibility to that solder connection, that connection may not always be how you want it. Now you can see here I'm doing your uh, using the multimeter just to do a, a test point to point test just to make sure that I haven't jumped the track and soldered something that should not be soldered. I always do this after I do joints, uh, any solder work. Turn around, do the same on the other side. I'll just let that play through for one joint. So you can see I'm testing the adjacent solder area and also where that terminal should be connected to the track. So that's all good. Just doing a close-up of the board there. Now, basically just reattaching that in there, printing the capacitors so they all fit in. And you get the electric screwdriver out. Always a big time saver, the screwdrivers, electric screwdrivers. Do the uh, final tighten with the, manually, do the final tighten. And then plug in the uh, AC supply, get the multimeter out, and just check all those voltages to make sure that they are measuring correctly. So five volts checking out okay. Varying the output on those variable outputs. And that's all looking good. Unfortunately, I've got the multimeter in view there, but that all worked out quite nicely. That's the end of that video. Thank you very much for watching.